Okay, elimination. When do we use this method? When it's clear we can look at a term and see how we can eliminate it. When there is an easy way to get rid of the X or the Y. And I know that probably doesn't make sense yet. <clears throat> but when I look at this example, the one that's going to go away is the Y. So when there's an easy way to get rid of the X or the Y, by get rid of, I'm talking about eliminating them. We're going to basically create zero. So elimination is when you're not taking these two equations and plugging things in like we just did. Instead, you're going to take them and you're going to add them together. So when I look at these two, and I picture drawing the line underneath it and adding it, 15x plus 2x gives us 17x. What is 5y minus 5y? That's the one that just got eliminated. Because they're going to zero each other out. So 17x is going to then be equal to 35 minus 1. 34. And then we divide. And 34 divided by 17 is going to give us 2. What are we missing now? So we go back to the two original equations. Choose which one looks like it will be the easiest to solve for y. I'm going to use the second one because it's smaller numbers. So I'm going to take 2x. And I'm going to put 2 times 2 because we found that x is 2. Minus 5y equals negative 1. And I get 4 minus 5y equals negative 1. Subtract 4 from both sides. I'm going to move my answer over here because I'm running out of room. I've got negative 5y is equal to negative 5. Divide by negative 5. Y is equal to 1. So in this case, my answer is 2, comma, 1. And that's elimination. Find the worksheet that has elimination on the top. Okay, and before I set you guys to do some work, I wanted to look through this. Take a look at number one. Which term is going to be easy to eliminate? Okay, what about over here? Also X. What about number three? Y. Are you guys starting to see them? And what about number four? Okay, I want us to go back to this one. Do you remember when I said that for number seven, I probably wouldn't use substitution, I'd use elimination? Do you see what I was seeing now? The Y could be eliminated, and then you don't have to try to solve for a variable on this one. Here's the nice thing about knowing how to use all three ways. When you're looking at a system, you're looking for what's the easiest way for me to get that XY pair. For number seven on this substitution worksheet, I think the easiest way is elimination. Okay, but let's keep going because it's not always that simple. It's not always like you have a Y and a negative Y. Let's see if we can find one like number four. I'm sorry, number 10, number 10. Remember, it's not always that it's already there, but that we can make an adjustment to it. So there's two things that could happen with number 10. I could solve this, the second equation for x and use substitution, couldn't I? But I want to use this as an example of how to use elimination when it's not so obvious. 
like the first many examples we had, you had 4x and negative 4x and it was clear. What if I take the second equation and I multiply every term in this equation by 3? I'm going to get 3x minus 9y is equal to negative 18. And then I'm going to rewrite the first equation just above it. And do you guys see what I changed? I didn't randomly use a 3. I wanted to get the opposite of 9y. And I saw that this was negative 3y, and I knew if I multiplied negative 3 times 3, I was going to get the opposite of 9y. So I just made this so that these can be eliminated. Negative 4x plus 3x gives me negative x. 9 minus 18 gives me negative 9. Divide both by negative 1. x is equal to 9. And then I can go back to the original equations, pick the easiest one. I'm going to plug this x into the second equation as it was. And I get 9 minus 3y equals negative 6. Subtract the 9 from both sides. Negative 3y is equal to negative 15. y is equal to 5. So my xy pair is 9 comma 5. <coughs> With that, I'm going to pause and let you guys do some practice. You don't have to start with number one. You might want to go look for others where you have to change an equation to make it so we can eliminate. Okay?